Hi, it's the Rossum Vegan Gal here, and today I'm doing a video for a company I've been really wanting to review some of their products for a long time, but I was waiting because their products were not kosher certified, and I'm kosher. So I'm so happy to say that pretty much, I think for the most part, most of them are. So I'm excited to finally be able to review some of them. So the first one that I'm going to be doing, um, and I'll tell you the brand, it's called Miyoko's Creamery. And this is the product I'm doing. This is their cultured vegan butter. And they have a few different flavors. They have different kinds of butters. They have ones that are oat milk based butter. So they've got, they've expanded their line a lot. They started with cheeses first, but I'm not doing the cheese yet. Uh, I will hopefully in the future do a lot more products. So I'll tell you a little bit about it. So Miyoko, um, this is Miyoko. This is her there hugging, a, I think it's a, a cow. <laughs> um, so it's all plant based. Um, she says milk plant. Plants hug cows. I like that. So she talks about the, to save a compassion founded on the principle of compassion for all living beings. We're on a mission to craft dairy products we all love, 100% from plants, making them kinder, greener, and tastier than ever before. So that's wonderful. So uh, to tell you a little bit about it, again, this is, I'll show you the packaging. So this is what it looks like. It's really nice. So she's based in Sonoma, California. So this is the European style cultured vegan butter with a hint of sea salt, 100% crafted from plants. Cashew and coconut oil spread. It is um, vegan. It contains nuts. It's cultured and what they call churned, is what she says. It is lactose free, palm oil free, gluten free, soy free, non GMO. Um, it's also USDA certified organic. It melts, spreads, browns, and bakes. Um, what else? It's kosher parv. Um, it's certified gluten free. Um, and it says it's perishable, so keep refrigerated or frozen. She says, What one question I would have, and I don't see that on here, is like, once you start using it, how long will it last? Meaning if you're just like me, one person, like how long will it uh, last? Meaning like, you know, some things have a use-by date, like after opening, use 10 days or whatever. Although I may like it so much that I may use it up faster than I think. Um, and it's also vegan, contains cashews. I mean, I think I do remember to mention it's vegan, but just say again. So what she says here is revolution, revolutionizing dairy with plants. I like that. And it is a certified B Corporation. Uh, what else can I tell you? There's lots of information on here, which is great. Uh, serving size, there is, I didn't tell you that. The size is, it's an 8-ounce um, package, or 8-ounce package of butter. It is a serving size, it says there's 16 servings, and it's 1 tablespoon is a serving. And it's high in fat because it's a lot of good fats, like the coconut oil, and then sunflower oil, and the cashews, so it's got a lot of that. Um, everything else is not really that much to tell you about as far as you know, like protein or anything like that. Trying to minimal four, four milligrams of potassium, one milligram of calcium. So the, the ingredients basically are organic coconut, organic cultured cashew milk, filtered water, organic sunflower oil, organic sunflower lecithin, and sea salt. I usually don't use oils too much in my own food preparation. Or I, don't, I should say I don't use it at all, but sometimes I do try products that do have oil in it. So this is the idea to see what I think about this um, butter. Um, and it does have cultures in it, so that's also good so you get your probiotics. Um, and what else can I tell you here? I think that's about it. Um, so there are lots of different ways to, to use this. Like she says, it melts, spreads, browns, and bakes. Now, I'm not going to be melting it on anything, nor I'm going to be browning it or baking it. So that is an option, but I'm not doing that. I am going to be spreading it on something, and I have lots of different options. So traditionally, people put it on bread or bagel or things like that. But I have some different things that I'm going to try, and I'll, I'll show them to you, and then I'll also include below those products. Um, so let me just show you what those are before I actually try them uh, with it. So, and then I'll try it on maybe one thing. So I have here something called corn thins and I've actually reviewed these on my channel as well. They're delicious. So that's a, something you can put on, use that, corn thins. Uh, then I also have flax crackers and, and, and that's from a, that brand is called Real Foods. This is from Flackers and I've also reviewed their products on my channel. Um, this is their flaxseed crackers. Then you can also use, would be fun to use, even though that's coconut oil base, is to use it in a wrap if you want to add other things to it, other vegetables, sprouts, whatever. So I have these organic coconut wraps from Nuco. I have three different varieties. They also, I think, have a plain one. I've got their turmeric, um, or turmeric, I'm sorry. They also have a moringa, and then they also have a cinnamon. So that's a little bit, not sweet, but it has a different, a nice, kind of sweeter-ish flavor. But you could still use the butter on there. Or something different. Then I also have from um, Lundberg. Oops, sorry, I'm trying to get to my things here and they keep falling. Uh, I have two different items from Lundberg. 
uh, rice uh, family farms. They this is their thin stackers, and they look like this. this is their basil and thyme variety. I can get it out. I'm not going to open this one, but that's their thin stackers. It comes in. I think it's three packages or four. Four. Uh, yeah, I think it's three or four packages like that. One, two, three. I think it's. I think it might be three. I might be wrong. Three or four. So that's another option. Then also from Lundberg, I have their rice cakes. If you're a fan of rice cakes, that would go nice too with the butter. If you're someone who doesn't eat bread, so these are other options for using the butter. This is their salt-free rice cakes, just so you see that. Um, then I have a few other things here. I'm just going to reach for them. Uh, okay, another thing that's nice is Mary's Gone Crackers. It's another option. This is one of their flavors, their original crackers. And I have reviewed this on my channel as well. Pretty much most of these things I have reviewed. And one other uh, option for a cracker is the... Um, Crackers from uh, Edward and Sons. This is one of the varieties I was using. They're unsalted sesame, and I've also reviewed them on my channel as well. So what I'm going to do today, I think, is I'm going to put it on, you know, so many options, right? What do you do? I'm going to put it on a rice cake. Let's try it on there. See what we think. And then, like, in the future, if I do some of the other products, like the cheeses, I might use some of these other things that I've mentioned there as well. So I'm going to take out a rice cake here. And put on a plate. Then I'm going to open the butter and I'll show you what it looks like. It's packed in this like parch, I don't know if it's called parchment or um, uh, I don't know what this is called. Um, and it's not parchment, I forget the word for it. Wax paper it looks like. Okay, so here she has it on here too. That's nice. It's all with her, with her label and everything. And then she has it, it actually has different gradations of how much here's a tablespoon a half a cup, a quarter cup, I guess if you're going to use it for baking or cooking. And it tells you on here, um, 18, 8 ounces, 6 tablespoons, 1 cup. Measure, measurements are approximate. So, so that's nice that she has all those different things. And spread compassion, compassion like butter. That's cute. I like that. So I'm just going to open this up. And it has a color like butter. I did grow up eating butter, but I haven't had it in like 30 years, so... It kind of has a buttery smell. So this is kind of what it looks like. It is kind of a little bit oily, so I'm not going to pull it out too much from here. I'm just going to take a little bit with my knife off and um, kind of show you what it looks like because it kind of looks buttery. And then I'm going to spread a little bit on the, on the uh, rice cake. I'm not going to spread it on the whole thing. Sorry, you can't see what I'm doing at the moment. But I'm just going to spread a little bit and kind of break it off here. Just to try, and then I may have more to see what I think. So here it goes. That tastes like butter. Well, it is a little oily, so I've already got several oil things on your hands, so you just rub it in. <laughs> so, um,. It does say it does use sea salt, but it doesn't taste very salty. It says there's a hint. I know she makes one that has no salt in it, but it actually does not taste like strong. Like sometimes you have a product that says it uses salt. And it's very salty, but this is just a hint of sea salt, and it is the last ingredient. And it says here for one tablespoon, um, it's three percent. But I don't even I barely taste it. But yeah, it does taste like butter. I don't know. I don't remember what butter tastes like. Like I said, it's been so long. But this is really nice. Um, I'm pleasantly um, um, surprised, I guess, that it tastes this good like butter. So for those of you out there who've never thought of that uh, you could have your butter um, without having dairy, now you can. And I know there's other brands that are making butters too, So, but this is the one that I'm trying for now. Maybe I'll try some other brands in the future. But definitely I think you should check this out. It's actually really nice, and I'm going to have some more. I think that... That uh, eight ounces is not going to last forever. I think I'm probably going to use it a lot more on other things. Um, you could also do it in, uh, I'm trying to think what other products you could use on yet. Yeah, bread, tortillas, you know, anything like that. Other kinds of crackers that you might have uh, be fun to use. And again, like she says, you could do it for other ways. If you're going to cook with it, you know, like bake with it, you know, if you fry things instead of using like um, oil, you could use the butter like in a pan if you were fry, fry things. So yeah, check it out. So again, this is Miyoko's Creamery, her European-style cultured vegan butter. So you should definitely check it out. And I thank you for watching. It's the Rossum Vegan Gal.